Hello, it's Deborah from Attic Lane and I'm just going to tell you about some projects that I've been doing recently. Uh, so this will be a short video where um, it's mostly going to be me doing a sort of a show and tell rather than a show and tutorial. Um, this month there isn't going to be a craft work cards um, monthly kit. Um, they let us know that about a couple of weeks ago. So I've had some extra time to stretch my creative wings a little bit and explore some other crafts that I've seen um, that I've wanted to find out a little bit more about and have a little play around with and that's what you can see here that's the result of some of that. I've also been expanding the craft room so at the moment I have um, a small desk area and we've been sorting out some storage in uh, a spare room in the attic so that uh, the attic will <laughs> I will have more of the attic um, and also it's been holiday time so uh, it's been really nice to have some downtime as well and do some other stuff. Um, so what you can see in front of you are uh, three things that I've been really interested in I've, I've tried to grab myself some time to to play with these so I'm going to show you this first now this is not a new idea these are faux leather journals and I hope you can see the embossing and the paintwork and the detail on these little booklets. This is not a new idea. Um, I will provide a link to the video that I used uh, for my tutorial uh, which I learned from. But what I think is absolutely amazing about these three little journals is that they started life as a piece of craft card. I mean it's amazing what you can do and how creative some people are um, in figuring out how to make these amazing little booklets. So I've learned from the tutorial that I will list below the video and if you open it up there's fabric on the inside and there are three little signature pages. A signature is a, is a collection of these little pages here and I think that will make a really lovely little gift for somebody. Um, and I, I think these are great and they feel really nice and soft and they're nice and flexible and as you move them the craft card that they originated as doesn't crack. It's, it's an amazing technique. If you're interested I would urge you to go and check it out. This is, I've made several of these, um, but I'm showing you the ones that I think have got the nicest fabric in them. They're just so pretty and you could personalise these any way you want. Because I was experimenting, I've just done plain pages, but I'm going to develop this idea further. I'm going to work on it a little bit more. I'm going to see what else I can, uh, how else I can make those signatures more interesting. Once I'd made those two basic ones I tried to make something a little bit uh, more complex with an extra little flap here um, but again with uh, plain white papers and just putting in three signatures and they're sewn in place and you can see the stitching on the outside of the little journal. They're a great size and a great shape as well if you just wanted to have something in your pocket or your handbag to make little notes on, little creative notes or a shopping list or a um, any kind of a notepad. I think it's a it's a really great size and you can just throw it in your bag and, and it's a and it's great, it's not going to get damaged. I haven't made um, closures for these yet, that's one of the things I want to experiment with. Um, and I'll also be doing some style of uh, sort of junk journaling with the interiors as well, but that's as far as my experiments have taken me in the past few days and I'm thrilled with these. I think these are really lovely little collection of notebooks. They take quite a, well it took me quite a long time to make but I had great fun doing it, great fun learning it and then advancing the technique a little bit and I'll continue to do that so I'll share my experiments with you as I develop further. The other thing that I wanted to show you that I think is quite amazing is what you can do when you start with a piece of plain white copier paper. Both of these started life that way. Now this is tea dyed paper. This is something else I've been learning how to do. I found that um, you can get some beautiful beautiful finishes and it's like parchment if you tea dye the papers and you then bake them in the oven or you can use a, a heat tool to dry the papers. Um, 
I love the, the feeling it gives you. It, it makes the paper feel very different to the, the plain carbon that it started as. Um, and inside are little pockets. So let me show you this way, sideways on. There are, I think, eight little pockets all together. One, two, three, four, seven or eight. Um, and they, they can pull forward and the little tags are also made with tea stain paper, tea dyed paper, with some detail on them. And again, this is something that I learned from uh, a video on YouTube, which I will link to. Um, it's a wonderful crafter called Eva. Uh, she is known as the Bohemian Crafter on YouTube, and I love her stuff. She does some wonderful junk journals, and she has some fabulous ideas. This is absolutely from a video that she did, um, but hers uh, hers doesn't have the same closure. I, Because I was cheating and I wanted to see how it would look closed, I've just done a little Velcro dot on there. I've added a little detailed piece of ephemera there as well. I've added in my tags. I haven't done anything on those tags because again this is a sort of a prototype. I wanted to uh, see how it was made and I've got another little piece of Velcro there so that I can seal this up. And again that's something that I want to develop. I've done some stitching on mine as well along the top and um, I did some stitching on the inside and here as well and put in an extra flap here and I think this would be great fun to develop even more and I want to find, uh, I want to use those pockets as well uh, and there's loads of ways that I think you could use the pockets I think you could use them for little recipe cards um, so instead of those tags you could have a recipe card written onto a, a tag and just slot that in and I think that would be a really nice gift as well if you have favourite Christmas recipes for example or summer salad recipes that you would like to uh, gift to a friend that's a great way of presenting it there you go, it's my favourite recipes um, and the same with this this is uh, printed paper um, I've recently uh, changed my printer and I've got one that's far more economical on ink usage which means that I'm now really exploring online printing of uh, digital papers and um, these are some from a company called Vectoria Designs I've used theirs before they produce beautiful papers but I've also added some uh, stamping of my own with the butterflies and the uh, notes, the musical notes there um, this time I didn't want a velcro closure I had a bit more patience this time so I've added in some ribbons that correspond with the colours that I've used and I've added some lace on the bottom fold and on the inside it's a little bit more plain but again this is based on the same design the same uh, pouches but this time I've sealed the pouches a little bit lower down so that they fan out more easily whereas in this my first example I attach them quite high up you can see they don't fan out quite as readily or as easily as they do in my second attempt but this is all part of what you learn when you do when you do these when you do your first one you learn and you try a, a different way of doing things um, these papers have been printed off and stamped and inked and there's a little bit of stitching as well down the outside of this outer pocket, this outer container is stitched down both lines there and the lace is also stitched into place on the reverse and I've printed off a number of uh, tags uh, just because they're beautiful I mean look at that, isn't that just the most gorgeous gorgeous colours, gorgeous effect um, I've also had some fun playing around with some of the little tags that you can print off and, and adding strips of fabric and adding little strips of papers that have just been uh, folded in half, thin little strips now tucked into a piece of fabric which I've wrapped around this tag and I've stitched down there I've stitched on the reverse, I've done some inking on the reverse with the big butterfly again and a lovely blue little pin uh, which matched the colours of the uh, the rest of the little pocket booklet and uh, I've also been experimenting with envelopes and that's my third thing that I want to show you 
because I really love these sort of tag envelopes um, that you see. They're, sometimes you see them as uh, wage packets. This is one that I've made myself from uh, some dictionary paper. So this is an idea I'm going to um, try and do more work with. These would also be nice, uh, a nice way to gift seed packets to uh, a gardener. If you uh, have a friend or a relative who's really keen on gardening or if they would like to grow salad in a window box or something, this would be a really nice way to pre present some seed packets to them. Um, the other thing you could pop into those uh, little, clo little uh, pockets would be perhaps some favourite photographs if you wanted to share them with somebody or if you wanted to keep them as a separate memory for yourself and you could then theme your your pocketbook on maybe a, a season or a birthday or a holiday or an event um, or perhaps some favourite poems. Um, poems are a nice thing to have around you um, especially in winter I think. In winter I, I like to sit and have some poems um, I've got a, a book of seasonal poetry and I like to just dip into that every now and again. So maybe this is a nice way of keeping favourite song lyrics or poems or something like that. But I think these these little pocketbooks that I first saw by Eva on her channel, I think these are a glorious, glorious way of using plain paper. Don't forget, this started as plain paper. It's quite amazing what you can do. Um, and then lastly, little envelopes. I really like little envelopes. Now this envelope is made from dictionary paper. I've inked it around the outside edges. I've popped some inky butterflies down the side. I've got some uh, lace on the edges along with some little paper strips and on the reverse um, it's plain on the back but you can see that the there is a closure for this little envelope. Now this is based on because I didn't have any of these uh, blanks, I was actually sent something um, contained within one of these envelopes. So what I did was, very carefully, I took the envelope apart so that I could see what the template was, and then I fitted it onto um, a piece of uh, dictionary paper. I've got a, a big book of uh, dictionary paper, and, um, and drew around the outside, and scored it where it needed to be scored, and then just folded it up. And that's a great way, if, you, if you're not sure about the, you know, what size or dimension you want to cut and make your own template, use, a, use an existing envelope. Just get one and adapt it and uh, you can make your own. And this one, I hope you can see, is pretty much exactly the same as the original, but it's made from different paper. So these are the three things that I've been playing with. Uh, in lieu of not having a craft work card monthly kit to bring you. So I've been doing these little projects instead. And I hope you found that interesting. I mean, there are, there are videos uh, and tutorials on YouTube, which is why I haven't done a, a video tutorial for you, because uh, first of all, these aren't my ideas. I'm just presenting you uh, how I've used other people's ideas. And I will provide the links to both Eva's um, YouTube site where she uh, demonstrated making these uh, beautiful little pocket journals and also um, the YouTube channel where I got the instructions for making these lovely lovely faux journals. I can't tell you how nice these are and not difficult to make at all and um, you don't need difficult ingredients or anything to make these. It's uh, I think they're magical and I'm, I'm going to make loads more of these because I think they're so good and also very good gifts for vegans. If, uh, if you know people who would rather not have leather, these are great because they started as craft card. Fantastic. So I'm going to say thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me and uh, I hope that the next project that I bring you will be my card kit from Simon Says Stamp. It was a little bit late last month, so hopefully it will be, fingers crossed, it will be on time uh, this month. And I will leave you for now with um, a little close up of these and I'll say thank you very much for your time and hopefully you'll join me again soon. Mm -hmm.